Marshal Caifano, born Marcello Giuseppe Caifano, 1911, September 2003, was an Italian-American mobster who became a high-ranking member of the Chicago outfit in Las Vegas. Early career Caifano immigrated to Chicago from Italy in the 1920s and became affiliated with the Chicago outfit and mobster Paul Rica. Caifano was a boxer in his youth. In the 1940s, Caifano was sent to Los Angeles. According to author Gus Russo, Bugsy Siegel, who was building a gambling establishment in Las Vegas, was at Beverly Hills home with Caifano associate Alan Smiley when another man arrived. Siegel was shot to death, and soon after Gus Greenbaum, the Chicago Outfit's chief bookie, arrived at Siegel's Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas and said, We're taking over. In 1943, Nick Sergella, Caifano's associate, was tried for extortion trial of his girlfriend, Estelle Carey who was about to testify against him until her burned and stabbed body was later found. Caifano was suspected of the murder, but the case was never solved. He was also suspected of several other unsolved killings, including the 1950 murder of former Chicago Police Lieutenant William Drury, the 1952 strangulation of mobster, Russian Louis Strauss and the 1973 shotgun killing of police officer Richard Kane. In the 1950s, the outfit moved in on the business of black mobster Theodore Rowe, a tried to kidnap him, but Rowe killed Caifano's brother during the botched kidnapping attempt in 1951. Rowe was tried and pleaded self-defense, but a year later, Rowe was shot to death. Caifano and Giancano were questioned but never charged. Prison and death in 1964, Caifano was convicted of extorting $60,000 from oil man Ray Ryan, who testified against him. The conviction was upheld in 1966, and Caifano was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Caifano was sentenced to a further 12 years in prison. In 1967, for defrauding a lumber dealer of $42,000. When Caifano was released from prison in the 1970s, Ryan reportedly offered him $1 million in restitution. However, in 1977, Ryan was killed in a car bomb. No one was charged in the murder. In 1980 Caifano was sentenced to 20 years for fencing stolen stock certificates. A few years after Caifano was released from prison, he died of natural causes in September 2003. References Further reading Bernstein, Lee. The Greatest Menace, Organized Crime in Cold War America. Boston, UMass Press, 2002. ISBN 1-55849-345-X Giant Conda, Sam and Chuck. Double Cross. The Explosive. Inside Story of the Mobster Who Controlled America. New York. Warner Books. 1992. ISBN 0-446-51624-4. Ovid, Demaris. Captive City. Chicago in Chains. New York. Lyle Stewart, 1969. Reed, Ed. The Grim Reapers, The Anatomy of Organized Crime in America. Chicago, Henry Regnery, 1969. Reed, Ed and Damaris, Ovid. The Green Felt Jungle. Montreal, Pocket Books, 1964. Zuckerman, Michael J. Vengeance is Mine. New York, Macmillan, 1987. Fox, Stephen. Blood and Power. Organized Crime in 20th Century America. New York. William Morrow and Company. 1989. ISBN 0-688-04350-X. Kelly, Robert J. Encyclopedia of Organized Crime in the United States. Westport, Connecticut. Greenwood Press, 2000. ISBN 0-313-30653-2 Romer, Jr., William F. The Enforcer Spillotro, The Chicago Mobs Man Over Las Vegas, New York, Ivy Books ISBN 0-8041-1310-6 Cyphocus, Carl. The Mafia Encyclopedia, New York, Decapo Press, 2005. ISBN 
0-8160-5694-3, Cyfocus, Carl. The Encyclopedia of American Crime. New York. Facts on File Incorporated. 2001. ISBN 0-8160-4040-0. External links.